Well, it's pretty obvious uh, where it is, eh? It's a one and a half, one and a half. Let's yeah. have a look. Well, I don't see it here. Is it up or down? It's right there. Can oh, you reach it? I think so. Hang on. Yep, I think so. I got it. Oh, it's on a string. <laughs> First find on a kind of a foggy morning. And it was true. It was a true one and a half, one and a half. Yeah, and we found it too. <laughs> Come along with us uh, for some adventure today. Today we're finding geocaches and... We're going to go whale watching. Mm -hmm. Maybe find some dolphins too. Oh, we hope so. Yeah, come along. Hey, it's for sale. cool in here but uh, it's not where the cache is. At least that's not where the coordinates say it are. Although there is some trampled plants. Ah, oh, I can't find this one. Maybe we're off by maybe 500 meters? I don't know. Just another DNF. These caches in uh, the Azores are tough. 500 meters. That's what this says right there, 500 meters. Yeah. Just a moment ago, we could just make out the largest lake on the Azores, right down in the caldera of this high mountain on the west side. Now, it's gone. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, there's not a whole lot there to see but fog. And this frequently happens up here, but up. But while we're up here, we have the opportunity to get an earth cache, a virtual, a multi, and a tradition. Got the cache? It was right here. And good thing she got that one because the multi, we figured it out. It's in Lisbon, Portugal. <laughs> It's only 1,400 kilometers away. Mm. <laughs> I don't think we'll be getting that on this Not trip. today. No. Let's take a look at the ruins. You can't help but notice this immense structure when you visit Vista do Rey, the viewpoint overlooking the crater of Sete Sedatus. It's located right on the rim of this dormant volcano. It's an eerie sight, especially in the fog, which, by the way, is more times by far than it is ever clear and sunny. Monte Palace, a five-star hotel, opened in 1989 with 88 rooms and two restaurants. After only 18 months of operation, the hotel closed. The owners declared bankruptcy and the building was left to the elements. The project failed because the Azores had yet to be discovered as a tourist destination. The hotel was too far away from the main city, and the view for which it was built to observe is often obstructed by clouds, and the location is much cooler than the surrounding areas due to its elevation. It is possible to gain access to the interior, but those who do, do so at their own peril and risk of arrest for trespassing. just by the car park. This one says it's at the base of a tree, which is nice to have a hint for us because we're having such a hard time, but I think I see it. I found it. Oh, it's even the same color as the tree. 
<laughs> a nice find. And we have a two for one special here. There's this traditional and then there's an adventure lab stage. Yeah, and a viewpoint just right there. And we might actually be able to see something. Not just here, looking at the uh, utilitarian building, which happens to be a school, and getting an adventure lab. There's a geocache here, and it's right there. Look at that. Woohoo! I think this one was the easiest one we've had on the entire trip. Well, there was a spoiler. Oh. But then it was right there, too. <laughs> it was right there, too. <laughs> Got it. And just like that, we're back in Puerto Delgada, and we see a whole group of people standing around just staring at their phones. They must be geocachers. <laughs> How you doing? How you one doing? Moment, one moment, one moment. Sure. <laughs> and we're here with the uh, CEO of the event, and you're from? <laughs> Germany. Germany, and you're Cologne. You're Cologne. Cologne. Yeah. Oh, and we are hoping to be in Cologne, and we have friends there <laughs> that live in Germany, and they're in Cologne. So hopefully we will see you. We'll put them there. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for hosting this event to add to our excitement for the day. And, and enjoy the rest of your cruise. I, uh, I enjoy, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks. Bye-bye. Our last stop brings us to these amazing gardens and this virtual about this rubber tree. No, wait a minute, no. It's actually a bay fig, but the virtual title says rubber, so I thought it was a rubber tree. But anyway, the CEO for this virtual says you just have to take your picture amongst the roots of this crazy huge tree. And of course, we'll get the Adventure Lab stop as well. And then we'll move on and check out the rest of this park and go for some dinner. Now this would make an amazing tree fort. Oh yeah. Indus, Elphilion, as propriedades antioxidants. But they will be like that ones. Most of those don't. This one's here. Well, that was very interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that pineapples had purple flowers. No, I didn't either. Yeah, it was a surprise, and it was so neat to see all the stuff in there, and the cost is amazing for these greenhouses. Yeah, the labor mm -hmm. intensity is amazing, and it takes like two years for them to get harvest. For one piece of fruit. Amazing. But it's yummy stuff. It is good. So we were waiting for the guy to come back so we could buy some pineapple souvenirs, and I've just set everything down, and I stared straight forward, and I saw the geocache symbol. We hadn't even looked up whether there was a geocache here, and sure enough, in the crate was the final to a multi. This is so cool. It's like awesome to find one inside a business. That's just, I'm just, oh, oh, I'm just thrilled. How cool is that? <laughs> that is awesome. And it's a, lo it's a log bush, a log bush. A log bush. <laughs> well, it says it's in a tree, but... Well, I don't see a tree there, but oh. let, let's go over to the park Maybe, and yeah, see. Yeah, I think it's on the other side of it. This tree! <laughs> There's a tree right there. This one has a photo hint, too, so... Kitty cat. 
you see a cache, it should be a... I see a cache. A whiz bang. That. Oh, there it is. And the cache is right there. Oop. Got it. That one was good because the hint said there was a spoiler photo and we used it. We weren't afraid to and it showed exactly where it was and what it was. <laughs> nice to get a cache. Thank you for coming along with us on our journeys through the Azores. And yes, we did see a blue whale off in the distance as she surfaced and gave us a signal with her blowhole. And then dove again for another 10 to 15 minutes. And then we chased along trying to see her again. We did go to the islet nearby and then checked out a couple of earth caches as we cruised along the surface and the edge of the island. It's been really great having you along with us and we hope that you join us again for more adventures of Cache Canada as we cruise the world checking out geocaches along the way. And good thing she got that one, because we figured out the multi, and it, the final is... In Lisbon, Spain. Lisbon, Portugal. Oh. Good thing she, good <laughs> thing she got that one, because we figured out the multi, and the final is... In, 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 Lisbon, <laughs> in Lisbon, Portugal. Good thing, good thing she got that one, because we figured out the multi, and the final for it is in... Is in... It's because you said is. <laughs> okay. I won't say is. Good thing we found out... <laughs>